Hi, I'm Ainur Kamarina from Sekolah Sains Sultan Mahmud and my group members are Nur Iza Zahra, Aisyah Naziha, Nur Aina Afika, Iqmal Hakim and Hilman Khalif. We have prepared our video with guidance of Sir Swadi Shukri. So, for chemistry outreach, our group will explain one subtopic from Chapter 1 from 5K SSM, which is Redox Equilibrium. So, my group decided to choose oxidation and reduction in terms of electron transfer at our distant YouTube. Okay, first, what is redox? Redox is a chemical reaction where oxidation and reduction occur simultaneously. Then, what is redox reaction in terms of transfer of electron? Oxidation reaction takes place when a reactant loses electron, while reduction reaction takes place when a reactant gains electron. Okay, so next is a diagram of transfer of electron at a distance using YouTube. This is example how the experiment takes place. Procedure number one: Pour 1.0 mol dm of sulfuric acid H2SO4 into the U tube until half full and clump it vertically. Number two: Carefully pour 0.5 mol dm of iron to sulfate solution into an edge of the U tube using a dropper until the solution reaches the height of 3 cm. Number three: Carefully pour 1.0 mol dm of potassium dichromate solution into arm Y of the YouTube using a dropper until the solution reach the height of 3 cm. Number 4. Connect the carbon electrode to the galvanometer using the connecting wires. Number 5. Dip one of the carbon electrode into the iron to sulfate while the other carbon electrode into potassium dichromate solution to complete the circuit. Number 6. Observe the direction of the deflection of the galvanometer needle and determine the positive and negative terminals for each electrode. Number 7. Leave the apparatus set up for 30 minutes. Number 8. Observe the color change of iron to sulfate and potassium dichromate. Number 9. Record your observation in the table below. Number 10. After 30 minutes, Draw out a liter of the solution in arm S of the YouTube using a dropper and pour it into a test tube. Lastly, add starch solution into the test tube to verify the product form. So, next is the equation. First half equation for oxidation, which is Fe2 plus produce Fe3 plus plus E minus, and half equation for reduction. Cr2 O7 to minus plus 14 H plus plus 6 E minus produce 2 Cr3 plus plus 7 H2 O. For the overall ion equation, we will get 6 Fe2 plus plus Cr2 O7 to minus plus 14 H plus produce 6 Fe3 plus plus 2 Cr3 plus and 7 H2 O. Now we move to the result. The solution we use are iron to sulfate solution and potassium dichromate 7 solution. 
first for iron to sulfate, the observation is kindly changed from pale green to brown, and the inference is iron tree ions are present. Iron to ions have changed to iron tree ions. The second one is potassium dichromate 7. The observation is kindly changed from orange to green, and the inference is dichromate 7 ions have changed to chromium 3 ions. Last word discussion. A. State the function of dilute sulfuric acid. So, the function of dilute sulfuric acid is to allow the movements of ions and complete the circuit. And B. Referring to the reaction that takes place at carbon electrode X. Write the half equation for the reaction. So, at carbon electrode X, it is filled with iron to sulfate solution, which is reducing acid and undergoes oxidation. So, the half equation is Fe2 plus produce Fe3 plus plus E minus. Big thankful to have our mentor Seswardi Sufi for guiding us all the way to complete the task given. We are much more than grateful for his patience and hard work. We won't be able to finish everything without his help. Thank you so much. That's all from us. Thank you for lending your ears to hear all of our explanation. Hope this video may help you guys understand this subtopic very well thank you so much and bye bye